Good evening. The resignation of Ferguson police officer Darren Wilson has done little to ease protests around the country tonight. Those angry about the death of Michael Brown once again blocked traffic in major American cities like Washington, D.C. And then there was this. Five players of the St. Louis Rams put their hands over their heads in a don't shoot pose right before their game against the Oakland Raiders. All nearly a week after that grand jury decided not to indict Officer Wilson. NBC's Ron Allen is in Ferguson tonight and starts our coverage. Ron, good evening. Good evening, Carl. In a letter, Darren Wilson said that he resigned after being told that staying on the police force was putting his fellow officers and the residents of Ferguson at risk. But well before that, many people here had been saying that given what's happened, it would be nearly impossible for Wilson to continue working or perhaps even living anywhere near here. Darren Wilson, 28 and recently married to another Ferguson police officer, expecting their first child, is no longer with the police force. Wilson has been getting death threats, according to his attorneys, who also say he made his decision to resign minutes after hearing from the police chief that others could be in danger. Chief Tom Jackson would not go into details about the threats. Were there threats against the department and him as well? Oh, there have been, yes. You take these seriously, obviously. Ab absolutely, yeah. What made them credible? Uh, just who's making the threat and their capabilities to carry it out. And that, that's what has to be assessed. I don't want to really go into the analysis. And are they still out there? Oh, yes. In a letter, Wilson said, it is my hope that my resignation will allow the community to heal. Sir Today, Wilson, the mayor the echoed that Ferguson. sentiment. The city of Ferguson will not be making a severance payment to Officer Wilson. Now is the time for the city of Ferguson to begin its healing process. At a church service this morning, with Michael Brown's parents attending, their supporters said the battle has not been about whether Wilson stayed on the police force. It was not about Darren Wilson's job. It was about Michael Brown's justice. Today, several players from the hometown St. Louis Rams took the field holding their hands up, as many believe Michael Brown did when he was shot and killed. Hands up! Don't shoot! Across the country, demonstrations in cities like Portland and Washington, D.C., where protesters blocked traffic. In Ferguson, with the annual holiday light parade postponed because of the unrest, a Thanksgiving dinner and toy giveaway for hundreds of families trying to get into the holiday spirit. Where is Ferguson right now? Uh, you know, we're still at a point where we're, we're hoping to, to feel like the, uh, the worst is over. You're still not certain what's going to happen tomorrow, tonight, going forward. You know, that's, uh, that's what's really kind of holding us back from, from moving forward at this point, is that, that tension out on the street. Overnight, it's been calm and peaceful here and through the day as well. Overnight, there's still a curfew in effect in the heart of the city that was hit, hit hardest by the violence, the commercial center of Ferguson. And there's still a very strong police presence there to enforce it and keep the peace.